just woke up and you just look at the window and like rain is just pouring down, bro. I'm so sad right now because I wanted to skate the Target Plaza. Looks like we're gonna have to skate inside this morning. Whenever it rains at camp, it is definitely the most hectic day because everyone is crammed into all the indoor parks. It's so hectic right now. Everyone's just going. But it's still fun though. Savage. Before it chilled out, we were just skating the bank because there's nobody skating it. That's a big part of what's cool at Woodward is there's so many options that if one place is crowded or you don't want to skate it, a lot of times even in the same park, there's like five other options. The burial heels, you gotta throw your chest back a little. Okay. You're staying a little too hunched over, throw your chest back, and it's gonna stay right on you. She was going for the burial heel, and every time she threw it, she was bending at the waist, and her chest was coming out past her feet. We just had to get that weight move in the opposite direction to put the board back under. Her. I saw a Nobi skating flat ground and I asked him if he wanted to play a game of skate. Whoa! Nobi's really good at flat ground and I'm pretty good at flat ground too, but about like 10 or 15 of my tricks are like switch flip tricks and I can't do any of them because of my ankle. So it might be a little hard to beat him. Yes, S. Don't listen to him on camera because he'll say his ankle hurts, but he'll do switch kickflips behind camera, so don't listen to him. Oh. Oh my God. I'm at K. No. Me and Christian have like the biggest rivalry, but we're like best friends. A to A, I think. Yeah. A to T. <laughs> now he's gonna do a fakey. That's game. I was pretty nervous in the middle of it because he started pulling out random switch tricks, but I won it, so I'm happy. That's my game. No, I'm not playing. My legs are still. I just won the second game, so now it's all tied up and we need a tiebreaker. I was at T and then he did a disco hill revert and right then I knew the game was over. He won the third round. He won the tiebreaker. And I can't do any switches to my ankle. <laughs>
but he stole my parents' car. That doesn't matter. I already know this was going to be easy, but, you know, he's making up excuses. I don't know why he would challenge me and then make up excuses at the end. But I just won it, so I'm happy. So, the weather this week has been kind of rainy. and It's like rainy, and then it's like really hot and sunny. The weather is all good now, and me and my friends are going to wakeboarding. I think I'll do pretty good, but we'll see. I'm about to do this so easy, and he's scared of the water right now. I don't know why, but I've always been really scared of like bodies of water. I'm just scared for no reason. So I'm afraid to go wakeboarding a little bit. Guys, this is the Wake Lake here at Woodward Camp. Uh, today we are going to be using a cable and some wakeboards and trying to figure out if we can stand on top of water. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Well, at wakeboarding here, it's a lot different than it would be behind a boat. A boat is way easier. Don't get discouraged. It's all about having fun trying something new. Good, good. Miss Mia, you want to go first? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so somehow I ended up going first. I don't know how that happened, but I get in and like, I'm like thinking like, I don't really know how to do this, but I'll just see. I slammed like the first three times. Mia did terrible, I'm not even gonna lie. Her first attempt, she just went up and went boom, straight back down. And then she tried it again and then boom, straight back down. I'm kinda scared, like seeing her like fall is like worrying me because I've never done this. That's hard. I got you the timing right. Oh, hey. give you a hug, but like, right, I really don't want to. I'll give you a hug. No! <laughs> nice phone, dude! <laughs> no! I just got to camp. I'm super excited to be here. I heard Mia and Kendra were down at the lake wakeboarding. Carl and I, we met in California. We were hanging out a bunch before we came here and been getting pretty close and she's a really good friend of mine. Carlin steps into camp and shows everybody up. She's clearly my favorite. Not that I play favorites, just saying. Skateboard's still in a bag, hasn't done anything, already ripping up the weight plate. That's surprised. not fair. She has already done it. Oh, typical boys coming up with excuses. I get it, I've been there. I get showed up by girls every single day. It's okay, we just gotta learn to accept it. Yeah, but I'm scared. You don't gotta be scared. I got you. Get up, get up! Yeah! When I saw the ramp, I knew I wanted to do it when I first got up. Yeah! Oh, yard sale. His feet came out of the bindings. <laughs> Toby, like, he stood up, started going, and he tried to do the jump, and he landed on his back. Dude, when I fell down, my swords came off. <laughs> <laughs> there is no alligator in there. There was an alligator in there, I saw it. I almost did a freaking thing. He's, he's stressing, yeah. but I think he's fine. Go on, power slide, lean back. Oh. Oh yeah, he got it! Yeah! Second try, baby! That's what it's all about! Oh now he's all the way down, look at him! Killing it! Killing it! Wakeboarding was a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Once I got used to it, I wasn't scared anymore, so I wasn't thinking about being scared, I was just having fun. Um, I'm regretting everything I said. I'm like really scared and I don't think I can get up. Three, two! One, you're up. There you go. Woo! Killing it. Yeah! Atta boy. Wakeboarding was really fun. I honestly had no idea how it would feel. After trying a couple times, I ended up popping up and just doing really well. I was hyped. You got it, Kendra. Let's go. First tee. First tee. What? 
first try. Kendra, she did really well. She stood up like nothing first try, and she had no errors. She just first thing up and gone. I think I could do this. I think I can do it. I just gotta stand up, probably. I think you got it. I'm feeling a little bit more confident in myself. I'm like, okay, I need to at least get up once. Everybody just finished their turns, and me is gonna try to get some redemption. Yeah! Woo -hoo! I got it, and it was so much fun. Like, it just felt amazing being on top of the water. Like, it was just, it's indescribable. She's doing actually great, and she's, she said she's never done this before, and so now I kind of think she's lying. She's crushing it! Yeah! Killing it! I'm proud of you, Mia! This literally might not be their sport of choice, but it's what camp is all about. Like. Stepping outside of your comfort zone, breaking through those barriers, figuring out what you're capable of. This entire experience right now is showing everything that camp is all about. You struggled, you processed, and you conquered. I'm proud of you. So sick. Oh, that was so cool being on top of the water. That was amazing. Yo, absolutely killed it. Thank so you. what it's all about, progression. And then Carlin obviously showing you how it's done. <laughs> all right. See ya, Jimbo, thank you. Bye, we'll get our man. cheer on later. I'm heading over to Egypt, uh, maybe try some tricks on the bump to bar. Egypt might be my favorite park. I keep going back there to learn tricks on the bump to bar because it's my favorite bump to bar ever. 270 lip, 270 out is a trick I've been trying to learn for a little bit. I was trying it at my home park, but I didn't get it. That's my first one ever. Never done that before. I'm a pro people this. I almost did it first shot. I saw in season eight, Barante did front feeble on the long rail, because on his cast, he had front feeble God. So I decided I would try to be like him and front feeble the whole thing. I just front feeble the long rail second try. Better watch out, Barante. Me and Kendra have been wanting to skate the rock. Been really looking forward to skating the barrier, because when you're at the rock, you have to skate the barrier. See you. Okay, that was a bad joke. Please don't, please forget that. That was a lot of fun because I met a lot of people there and then Mia was killing it. She was landing a bunch of tricks. She landed 50-50 and 5-0 and a bunch of other stuff. And it was just a really fun session with everybody. Get it, Kendra! Downright crazy looking trick. What made you think to learn that trick? Like, the things, honestly. I had just learned, like, finger flip, and I, I was just like, what if I just combine the two tricks? That is so <laughs> awesome. <Yeah. laughs> and the latte just to watch Dave and Re David Reyes' uh, new part. Hope it's gonna be sick. Tonight here, Woodward, we're gonna premiere um, David Reyes' introduction to Thank You Skateboards video part. It's the first pro we're adding to the team with day one of myself. And this is actually gonna be the very first showing before it hits the public worldwide. So everyone here tonight at Woodward will be the very first to hear the news, see the video part. This part is definitely the one I've had more hands on and actually like a vision and really saw how I wanted it to look. I wanted to include like where I'm from, things I've been through. Uh, I had a friend write the song and yeah, it's just like 
I don't think I've ever really felt confident enough to say like I'm proud of a project, but with this one, I'm like, I'm proud of it, you know? All right, so the campers are all about to come in. They all have their raffle tickets. It's like, I'm more scared of them watching my part than like a group of adults. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> My name is Tori Pudwell, professional skateboarder. I started my own skateboard company with legendary pro day one song. It's called Thank You Skateboards. We're proud to introduce our newest pro to the team, David Reyes. We hope you guys enjoy. That ledge is so tall. The critics spoke. They liked it. <laughs> All right. Last David board. 111. Yeah. 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 I did that. I did that, bro. <laughs> On the next episode of Camp Woodward. Sheckler, lay down. I'm going to air over you again. I like to throw a little like extra, extra fright in there for these kids. I'm going to throw a hard flip. I don't know how that's going to go. It's hard for a reason. <laughs> a lot of times I get into a battle and I don't stop until I get hurt or I land it. Oh, that was it! <laughs>